Welcome. So this is going to be a second, uh, which we'll call it, um, video of farming these different wilderness bosses. This next boss I'm going to be showing you is Calvarion, and um, the is another one we have to complete your medium wilderness. This one uh, is a little bit different. It's actually very different than Ardeo, but it's similar to Spindle, which will be the last one. Uh, this is what I wear, the Ursa Chain Mace, Glory, uh, Helmet of Nezina, and then Rune Boots, Rune Gloves. Rune Gloves are cheaper than a combat bracelet, but better if you've done, you know, Recipe for Disaster. Um, unholy Book, you can bring whatever shield, you know, whatever three items that you want to protect. Um, I have a Void Waker with me just because it's for, you know, protection purposes in case somebody tries to kill me. Uh, but when you bring things like that, you want to make sure that you have PK Skull Prevention on, so you don't accidentally skull and lose everything. Now, the prayers are a little bit different, still protect from melee. Uh, I do Piety and Preserve because I do have a Super Combat Potion with me. And for this one, teleporting to a little bit of a different spot than before. So with this, I am teleporting to the Corporal Beast area. Here, I like to just hit the stamina potion, drink the super combat, exit the cave, and then it's right over here. So I have the 20 kills needed for this boss. Calvarion Vedion is actually the only wilderness boss of the three that I've green logged. So once again, there's activity inside of here, so you're just hopping around to find an open world. They're, it's pretty popular bosses because they, they are pretty good the amount of money and as you'll see they're very easy to kill so this world's empty so all you do is put your prayers on drop down and with this boss you have to keep moving so you attack, you run that push attack that you just saw um, if it hits you it's also like a little bit of a stun so it does a good amount of damage and then you won't be able to attack again Around health, half health, he will uh, summon those dogs, and then you, know, you have to kill them before you can attack Calvarion again. And you just want to make sure that you're moving because he summons these lightning bolts, and they do damage. But they some they come from where you're standing. That's why I bring the stamina potions and I run. And with this. Um, Once you be on, there's that second phase. You can stand on top of him to get a second hit in. But with this, it's, you know, if you have a good strength level, you have the attack level to wear your assigned chain mace. And, you know, of course, the higher your strength, the better it will be. I wear the Mythic Cape, which is from Dragon Slayer 2, because it gives good crush bonus. But you're just running back and forth, killing, uh, kill the dogs, move. When he goes into his enraged state, which is this yellow form, everything does more damage um, so it's just about a game of moving and then when he dies you know you have some time to refinish your prayers drop some oak planks it's a pretty good drop see for him I'm not really searching for anything go do another kill uh, the Ursine Chain Mace is special attack is pretty good. It's an attack, but then it also puts this little dot on them. Now, see, I got hit there. Now, if I go up to the try to attack, I'll just stand there because I'm blocked from attacking for a little bit. I just want to kill the dogs, run away. I bring uh, two stamina potions just because you always want to move. And uh, when we get to the spindle video, I'll also go over you know, why I bring stamina is for them. It's for a little bit of a different reason. But it's a very easy boss. You know, as long as you find an open world, you can stay here with a inventory, full inventory of food and potions. You know, 
bringing as much as you're comfortable bringing. You have a pretty good time. Um, you can use the bludgeon or the zombie axe as crush weapons, if, or the inquisitor mace if you can afford that. Um, but it's not really a necessity to have those. This Ursine Chain Mace definitely is the more, um, it's the best option to have. Um, another thing with these videos that you'll be seeing if you watch all three of them, if you watch this one, um, I don't bring a looting bag. I just, I used to bring a looting bag, but then I got too uh, invested. Like when you get PK'd, you lose the looting bag, and then, you know, you have to bring another one. When really, if you die from the boss, you keep everything. So, you know, when you're doing Vedion, Vedion is the same thing as this. I'm not going to make a video about that. It's just, you know, Vedion is probably the easiest of these three bosses' hard forms. It's just the same thing, you know, run back and forth, attack. But the big thing is it's in multi-wilderness. It's level 40 wilderness, so it's something... You know, there's more risk to it. You can definitely do it naked, just bring like a bludgeon, zombie axe. Uh, for Vedion, I would highly suggest not using the chain mace just because of that thousand ether that it takes to charge it. If they kill you, you will lose that. Um, but yeah, it's just a real good time. I mean, I, for me, I enjoy it. Uh, I was able to get all the items that I need from doing a combination of. Vedion and Calvarion. So, like I mentioned before, his list is green logged. Uh, Vedion drops some pretty good stuff like Snafu, Snafu Serums. He'll also drop like Mystic Robe Tops and everything. But yeah, then when you're done, I just use the Royal Seed. Go here. Up top is a little bit of a uh, bank right here. And that's everything. And, uh, as you can say, just for just to show the collection log. This green took me 230 Vedion kills and 323 Calvarian kills to get everything. But yeah, once again, I hope you have a great day. Toodles, and uh, I'll be back with making the uh, spindle cut video.